Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to use scripting with the advanced tabs night function. This uh, will show you how to use scripting with that and it was inspired by a question from Enderdude which wanted to set a certain animation at one point and have it drop some blocks at another point during the night when it returns to its original spot. So this is pretty easy to do and it depends on how far away the point is but if uh, we'll quickly go over the night function here. It's found under the advanced tab, night, right there. So what you want to do, you can go into edit mode and you want to, to pick which uh, types of actions or uh, different tabs you want to affect. So for me I want to affect the AI which has return to start and the inventory. So what we want to do is go to here, say AI inventory and we will load night and that's where we want him to be at night. So now we'll click on him go over here and load day click on him and then we will delete his current position and now over here in the day position we will put something in his inventory like that okay go back and go out of edit mode and he's back over there without the pick so if we make it real day he will put he will pick up the pick and go to his day position if we make it night he will go over here to there without the pick in his hand okay so this this works pretty good if the end point is within 32 blocks because it's often difficult for an NPC to navigate over 32 blocks successfully so that's what I did here with this NPC he uh, let's go today he will come out of there with his axe he will come over here and he will start looking like he's chopping on something, swinging his arms, and then during night he will drop his axe and go back to his little house. So this guy is, is just identical to that one up there, he's got set home, and he drops these blocks. Now he's dropped a number of them <laughs> here and I haven't collected them recently, but he's set to drop 32 blocks, and the script is very simple. This is all there is to it right here. Uh, if he's in one position, he will set this flag this is his ch chopping position, and he will swing his hand if he's in that position. If he's not in that position, he will return home, and he will drop items right there, 32 blocks. Uh, and then he will set that to 1, just for that doesn't run continuously when he's standing at home. So that's pretty short and simple right there. And the, the nice part about it is what's really making this run is the day and night button. You don't have to have any scripting to make a move there or anything like that. You move If he's here, this happens. If he's here, this happens. It's very simple. So, but if he's further away, it gets a little more complicated. And that's what I did over here um, with this one. He will also do a similar animation, but he's close to 60 blocks away. And how I did that, he, he navigates to here first, then he na navigates to here, and then finally he'll come all the way to this position and similar to the other one he will start the swinging arm motion and things like that and if I go to night he will do the same he will return and um, I set up his house a little bit differently here as you can see he uh, underneath that carpet's a hopper and it goes into this chest and I've tested it a couple times here um, there it is and see you can almost you can almost see his the blocks drop right there but they do drop and, and they will go down into this chest here. But this is a lot more complex here. So what is going on here is this right here. <laughs> All this right here. It's about, what is that, 50 lines instead of uh, like 10? <laughs> so, but, so what goes here is that it checks to see if he has the axe in his hand. Uh, then it checks to see where he is and it sets these this flag again and depending on which position he is in, it'll set a flag, check the flag and check his position. And all this I had to add is if you log out and come in again when he's between squares, and this also, he's going to not be in one of these positions, so he's going to like lose his way, he's going to, um, the script won't know where, where to navigate to. So, I'll show you that real quick. It's daytime, we'll go out the door here, and if I log out, he is not going to know where to go unless the time changes again. So if the time changes to night, 
he will go to the nearest location and then return is what he does so without this or this he would have just stayed there and he would have not done anything so you have to put that in it says if not navigating and the position is two, go to the next square or go to the last one and that's what all that does so that's why um, it gets a lot more tricky to navigate between squares like that when it's uh, it's further away than 32 blocks uh, an NPC will try to navigate further than 32 blocks but often it'll just teleport on a flat map like this it's almost possible but not really very practical usually because he'll try to find it and then he'll just teleport and that won't look very good so this gives a nice smooth walking all the way and um, using the day and night whoops I'll just do this, this this night button using this and just putting something in his hand lets you um, go off of that trigger to find out when he should move otherwise you'd have to uh, you could uh, actually put something in there to figure out the time but that would be that would take a lot more scripting. You could, this guy says, the current time, and you'd have to take that number and divide it by 24,000 and then take the remainder and multiply that to find out what time it is. So this is much easier and really automatic, but uh, if you would be possible to use the time of day function, but that's for a whole other video, I think. So um, that's it. I hope you uh, learned something here, and uh, thanks for watching.